Are you a Mac user and a Windows user and you struggle switching between your Mac and your Windows and like doing all the cables and taking them out? I got a solution for you. What's up everyone, Steve here and today in this video, I actually got a product review here. This product, I've been using this for a while and been enjoying it. It's like it's making my life more easier just with the click of button. So let me just quickly show you how does the product itself look like. It says P-Way HDMI USB KVM switch. So you got four USB um, ports here and here's your actual switch and it will indicate which uh, like PC it's on right now. So like these two are like they're like lights behind them. So it will tell you which uh, number of PCs like PC1, PC2 they will tell you which PC is it on it right now. And then at the back what we see is like your HDMI output and then your the USB that goes in here and the HDMI and the same for the other one. What comes in the box now? We talk about there are two HDMI cables, plus we got the two A B USB A B cables. Yeah, that's what they're called. So I don't know why they didn't give us three, just in case if someone don't have it. Like I know, like most of the people probably have it if they're using on a monitor. So for sure they probably have it, but just in case if they're using any other kind of old monitor and they need. Well, it's actually in my cable for some reason. You should just get one in this box. So yeah, that's what pretty much you get in the and there's the user manual too, but I don't have it for some reason because I got it used and it's it's not used. It's kind of like a refurbished from Amazon. So there are like people on the Facebook marketplace. They actually like sell stuff like this for like really cheap. So I got this for ten dollars with all that stuff. It was in there. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay, let's actually like uh, put it together and I'll show you step by step how I did it. So the first, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna like add on all the cables so it will be more easier. Like later on, like when we are gonna connect this whole thing with the computer. So this is gonna be my PC one, which is gonna be my Mac. Getting ready the cables, and then we got an HDMI cable for the Mac. Here's the HDMI cable. Then we got a yes, uh, other USB for our PC like the Windows computer and I actually already have like a cable for my Windows so, I'm, so like that's why this I never use this so I'm just gonna keep this on the side for now so I have a 2012 uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch and it's pretty old so it does not have a HDMI cable so I use this uh, adapter to like extend the board to HDMI adapter that part goes right through here and here's the output so that's gonna be my PC one, so like this one. So this cable, we're gonna go ahead. This cable is gonna go in here. Hold a click. And you can put this uh, your Mac on the side if you want. That that part is done. And oh no, so there's also the USB. So you also have to put the USB in. So you're gonna I'm just gonna insert the USB. Okay. So that's our Mac part is done. So like your computer number one is done. And then your computer number two. So this cable, so I told you guys, like I already have a cable coming out of my PC. So that's gonna go right in there. So, so I already have ready over there. And I go right here. So this is the one that is coming from there. And we're gonna put in here. Okay, perfect. And now it's all ready. So I'm gonna use like the similar thing what I use I did here. So I used the same glue. That's where I actually used it. And I'm gonna put it over here, so like right over here, so I can uh, put if any USB cables I want to play here. For me, I actually, to be honest, like I'm just gonna put like my uh, keyboard and like the mouse since they are wireless, so I can just throw that up there, and and it's like really easy to access it, and I can actually like work on the wires later on. So what I'm gonna do right now, I hope you guys can see that part. So I'm gonna hold this here. Oh, no, okay, first I'm gonna open. Guys, be really careful when you're like handling with these super glues. Yeah. So I'm gonna put like a nice coat, like and spread it out really good. So you better put like a lot of it, so like you don't want this to like popping off. Cause, and actually, I did make this this. It's a DIY. Then. I'm not anything. Okay. So I'm gonna match this with like the wood. Okay. I think uh, and just hold it there for like a couple of seconds and then it should start like holding it. I'm, I'm gonna hold it like really tight so, like it gets like the amount of 
Yeah, but it gets even. It should be fine. You gotta press it like all the way. Okay. And actually, I forgot to do uh, this USB cable. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna put it here. Just bring it up from there, and I'll put it here. And now we are actually like everything is um, connected, and we can use this to switch everything. Oh, first I have to put this in here. Okay. So that's for my keyboard and mouse. Let me actually. Okay. First, let's do that. Okay, that's garbage. Oh, I made it. <laughs> it actually went down right in there. Okay, let me bring my keyboard and mouse. So this is actually right on the PC2, and I'm just gonna show my screen, like uh, my screen, so you can see it actually works. So give me a second here. Okay, so you guys can probably see right now my other half, like so. This is like so this is like a dual monitor side right now I have here, and I have like they both are on Windows right now, so they both are connected to your PC. But by the time I am gonna click the button here, three, two, one, go. So there's my Mac. So I just have to put in the password. Okay, yeah. So pretty much like just with the click of button. But what else do you need? And like the mouse is gonna go there. Before it took me longer because my Mac was like turned off. Right now, if I can switch again, I think it's, oh, it's, it's already turned on. So it's there at the back. So I'm really sorry for the longer video. And I think this video helped you a lot. Maybe if you want to get this or not, it will help you to make the decision. And I hope you loved it. And please uh, consider giving me a subscribe and liking my video. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and stay creative. Did you like my new background? I actually like it was a DIY project and like the dust too. I'm gonna make a video on that soon, so give it a subscribe or just like my video. Bye!